Seriki Funani did when Samolu visited his palace that sparked reaction online. An undated picture of Governor Babajide, Samolu and the Seriki Fulani of Lagos is currently trending on social media. In trending pictures, Seriki Fulani of Lagos sat down to address Governor Babajide Olushola Samo with a microphone being held for him. Lagos governor has has to stand up and hold his microphone. The picture has generated massive reactions on social media and many Nigerians condemned the actions of the governor and Serki Fulani. And so some of the reactions say, how is the Serki of Lagos a recognized traditional ruler that our government is already romancing with and according, and according recognition that should be ascribed to the indigenous traditional rulers? Hmm. What the hell is going on? The Serki of Lagos is absurd. The title should stop at CAC's office. <laughs> wow. Another person here says, What sort of rubbish is this? Who hypnotized the Yoruba nation? How can there be two kings in one kingdom? Wow. For one must allow the other, otherwise trouble awaits such kingdom. Please name the Yoruba Oba of Sokoto and the Daura that the governors of Sokoto and Kastina pay homage to. True. Um, but the other, another person says, but the other time they said Yoruba is their wife, now should the husband stand up to address the wife? Or is the wife that's supposed to stand up to address her husband? And as they went as far as using the slave master example and no one rebuked it. Wow. I don't even know, man. Someone says, Yoruba's, what is going on? Yoruba's going, going, going. I need an answer. Save your ancestors' lands and look at Fulani's want to take your lands from you, from you rejected tribes by God. You what? By God, you are prince and queens. Send them back into the north and answer whatever he is answering your land. Remember how says. Okay, someone here says they are planting Cherokee Fulani all over the thirty-six states, and as time goes on, the indigenous people of the states will be will have no. Will have to consult. The circuit flannies before they make decisions in their states. <laughs> Somebody replied, God forbid. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. I think maybe with the circuits being in different states, it, it, it emboldens the some northerners mentality that they own the whole country because they can go wherever they like. Yeah. I mean, this can only happen in Europe, in the western side, because I don't think that there would be <laughs> a circuit of like emo state. What? Nah, you're literally asking for war. You are literally asking to be burnt alive. That that's literally what you're asking for. But yeah, I don't know. I think um, it might just be that the Yorubas are very cordial people. They they're not really confrontational, very very progressive. Um, <laughs> it actually I don't think it makes sense. Maybe I don't know. I I don't think from their history they've allowed other people become have Cherokee titles like. You can be a leader. Don't get me wrong. There are, you know, if you're in a predominantly, let's say, for example, in a Yoruba society, you, in a Yoruba um, state, you can have leaders of your society and have groups that come together for the for the benefit of living in that society that's dominated by another tribe. But to have a whole Seriki, like, that, that, that says a lot because it just means that they hold as much power i mean if you see they they have their own palace they have everything so yeah it, it, it seems as though they hold as much weight as the obas of their own kingdom ah it's not me i'm not yoruba so i don't know um someone here says too bad my Oduda, oduduwa wake up fast before it is too late i have many oduduwa families and i don't want their great grandchildren to regret and suffer if they're allowed to live. Please wake up true. Hmm. Someone says, Then you'll know that you're gone forever. Better stand up and cleanse your land of these Fulanis and own back your land for good. If you like, be quiet. Once they take Lagos as their Emirates, <laughs> then other Yoruba states are a minor, are a minor case. Uh, I don't know. Again, if you're an indigenous, what do you think? If you're a Yoruba person, what do you think? Put your comment down below because it it's your land and you have the power and the control to take it back. This BS of 91 Nigeria is not true. It is a lie. It is 
a sort of propaganda that's used to support it when it suits certain people's narratives or whatever but this idea that it's one nigeria don't go and deceive yourself he says not <laughs> someone here says this this is the there is a circuit flanny who can even sit to address the governor but in the past arg frowned on igbo's having ezd in igbo land in ezd in lagos and other parts of yoruba land sometimes southerners unreasonably fight themselves for nothing true it has been proven to be so so many times all yoruba politicians and poli- politicians Politicians and traditionals have completely sold us into the Fulani slavery. We are just waiting for Sunanese, Fulani's to possess their bounties. Again, when we talk about the land thing, I feel like we are all very separated. And so, if you're from, if you're Yoruba, put your comment. I genuinely want to see what you actually believe is going on. It's your land. Other people will just observe and give their opinions outside. But if anything, they have the power it is their responsibility and they have the final say in if they want to let this happen or not but i highly doubt that they would want to do that wow um so it, it is what it is a lot of people have been talking someone here says someone who has no charisma of a governor the office is too big for the guy max he could have been a commissioner i hope he prostrates if he sees the sultan <laughs> yeah someone who is yeah his rep is gone. Um, I don't even... There's so many... I don't even know. I, I, I don't know what to think of the man. He's just he's just there. I don't know. He, he doesn't have any power. He seems very controlled. He seems very like... He takes orders from powers above. Because there's no logical... As again, there's no charisma as this person said. And when he comes to address the public, it's like... They've sent me to come and tell you this. That kind of vibe. That's what I believe. I mean, it's my personal opinion. You might disagree. Put that in the comment section below. And, yeah. Someone says, but the other time they said Yoruba is their wife. Now, should the husband stand up to address the wife? Or is it the wife that's supposed to stand up to address her husband? And they were, and they went as far as using the slave master example and no one rebuked it. All right. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, Nigeria's gonna... The future of Nigeria, we don't know, um, is getting very, very tense. Again, for significant change to happen, the people will have to come out in large masses. And for Nigeria to happen, the South is fine. I think people in the South can come out, even if it's not everybody, but majority can come out and protest. But for the northern part of the country, a majority of them have to be in line and in accordance with us being together for Nigeria to change. Put what you think about this in the comment section below. And do not forget to like and subscribe.